Hey guys, it's Trisha with Upcycled Stuff. Today I'm going to show you how easily I took a bunch of unexpected trash and turned it into this pretty fall wreath. Every bit of this particular project is upcycled, using stuff that I already had laying around the house. This isn't so much a tutorial as it is a quick video to show you what I did to hopefully spark a little inspiration for your next project. So here we go. Using a bit of duct tape, I secured the ends of an old pool noodle together, forming the basic circular shape of the wreath. An extra set of hands comes in really handy here, uh, just to make sure that the ends meet completely, because if they don't, you'll end up with something shaped more like an oval than a circle. Using an old t-shirt, I covered the pool noodle in a vibrant red fabric. I use the same method to cut a continuous strip of the fabric from the t-shirt, as I do when I make my t-shirt yarn, and I'll leave a link to that comment to that video in the comments below. So once it was all cut, mine was two inches wide, I wrapped the entire wreath form in the cotton t-shirt fabric and secured it along the way with some hot glue. I was really lucky to have inherited some really awful grapevine from my mom. She'd been using it as a kitchen valance probably for the last decade. So I used some leftover spray paints that I had in fall colors and made them look a little bit more like fall foliage. Once that paint was dry, I used a pair of wire cutters just to snip off smaller pieces of the, um, the grapevine to make it more manageable on the wreath. And then I used a bit of hot glue to glue everything down into place. Once all of my pieces were glued down, I went back and repositioned some of the leaves to cover up some of those big blobs of hot glue. Next up, a broken wind chime. Most of the chimes that were hanging under this birdcage had fallen off already, so I just removed the rest. I added a bit of hot glue to the bottom of the birdcage, just to help keep it in place on the wreath itself, while I used some wire to secure it in place. So as you can see, I used about a couple feet of wire and just ran it through a couple of different of the birdcage wires and then around the wreath and secured it. And then I disguised the wires with a few sunflowers. 